Yeah, that makes sense, though. Plunge is faster? Interesting. Because you can just... You, like, you have to go to the side for the plunge. And, like, jump to the right spot. Meme rolls, you just, like, fucking lol, roll. Roll off right to the right spot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Uh, to be fair, though, you can still do... You can still get a crash there, but... I think there is at least one type of plunge in the remaster that doesn't get you a crash. And I tried several different plunges in the remaster right there. And I'd, I, got a, I got crashes on at least some of them. Now, I'm not sure which one you're doing. So. Are you doing the one that's on the far right wall? Because I don't think I tried that one. Or maybe I tried it, but it didn't actually crash. I'm not sure. I think the one that I tried that crashed is the one that's like right in the fucking middle. I'd have to show it to you. But there's a plunge on the far right wall. I think, I think doesn't get you a crash in remaster. Just die, okay. It's fucking 44.5. Insane. It's a good idea. I For me, I'd probably just do meme rolls. <laughs> Depending on how hard the plunge is, I guess. But meme rolls are easy. Probably plenty fast. How much slower is it, Duck? Yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought, Hunt? Practicing helps. I kind of uh, figured out a way to make Duke skip easier for me. I still might not be, you know, 100% consistent, but I found something that makes it much more consistent for the get the right angle when you roll. I was having so many issues with it. Like, I was going to basically just spend time practicing Duke Skip and the Slip put out before every like uh session of doing runs which isn't a bad idea but i've never really done that before that much but now it's just like i keep fucking up duke skip and runs and it's like super tilting but i figured out a trick that makes it easier for me yeah the meme rolls are fun and they're not, they can't be that much slower. Bones are nine seconds slower. I mean, I mean nine seconds is a lot. It's not like all bosses is optimized. And if it's, if you don't have to yellow the Hellkite, that sounds 
okay, I guess. I would want to know how much slower it is overall, though. Not just the part of the thing. I guess. Dude, another 442 here? Insane. Oh my god, I'm so close. I've never had a 444. Well, I did have a fucking 144.5 Asylum, so that makes sense. 15? That's not that bad. <laughs> I would I would happily lose 15 seconds to not YOLO that fucking Drake. Unless, like, my time is, you know, optimized, then I would consider it, you know? Oh. Almost fell right off. Holy shit. Same drop rate. Yeah, you can get Talented Golem in any percent, too. Well, yeah, doing it the way I did it in that video. You can get talented goal. I don't know about the the slow way that everybody else does it. Where you, like, walk to the middle of the fucking bridge and wait for him to walk to you. I mean, that, that fight might not save that much time, depending on bomb cycles. But it definitely would say, I think, would save time versus what everybody else does. Yeah, I know. And you can get talented going with the the way I did it. If you don't, if you don't have bombs or something, is that if that's what you're saying? Then okay. I'm just talking about any percent. I don't really know the major difference between all bosses and any percent. Remaster Golem? I know you have the fucking Gold Pine Resin, right? Uh, hello? God. Plus zero. Can you not get talented golem with that? Doing like the, the way that I did it? Oh, uh, how did that miss? Maybe we're all standing. That's the only thing I could think. Well, at least it's not slow hollow. I like took the time to line that up in the right spot. Seemed totally fine. Still should be uh, ahead though, because I didn't get slow hollow. That sucks though. Oh, I see. What do you mean, duck? Did you not watch the one cycle that I had at the very end? Yeah. I know it works fine. I did three example ones, which are just like, you know, Sass Golem, and then I did a stomp at the end to show you that you could one cycle.
Yeah, plus three might just be easier. It might be worth it. I don't know. But yeah, you can do that any percent. It is pretty tight window though, so you might just want to get plus two. But I don't know, it didn't feel that bad because I got stops with that while doing that like a few times and I didn't mess it up a single time. But it did seem pretty tight. Hey, Indy. Thank you. Not been a very lucky day so far. Maybe I'll get lucky on this run because I fucking lost a shit ton of time already. Looks like I'm on a good run, though, because I'm five seconds ahead. <laughs> it's just slightly less atrocious. Although, I guess, um, one of my deaths wasn't bad luck. It was just me missing the fucker on Raptors. Whoa, I didn't mean to jump. Yeah, we'll try this. not mean to jump past Bob, although it worked. I was trying to roll past him because I saw that he was like outside of the doorway in that particular spot. I just fucking jump past him. Uh, congrats on your win, Indy. Gets peanut. For the most part, that was a pretty good run you had. Insane one cycle ROM. Yeah, until Orphan, yeah. Man, you should have just, like, if you were planning on doing the cheese, I would have just done the cheese. Especially with chat trying to bully me. I'd just be even more likely to be like, fuck you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I want. I don't know if they made you change your mind. I mean, yeah, it ultimately didn't matter. So whatever. I feel like I would probably go for the uh, cheese in a race. Even if I was, like, insanely good. Just, like, consistent. Mm, that makes sense. If you, like, knew you were already ahead. Oh, 
Although that is an argument for doing the cheese as well, because like you're already super far ahead, so just play safe. for the BKH in all bosses? No. No, no. I, I do not like carrying the BKH into the DLC. I've done that. It is not fun. Maybe the BKG is. Although I wouldn't do that just because I'm not used to using the BKGS. Never run a BKGS route. I mean, I'm a BKH cultist, but I'm mostly just a red tier stone ring cultist. Asshole. Oh my god. Like, I would like nothing better for this route to be with the Dragon Tooth and not be shitty, you know? I'm probably gonna do Malus, honestly, because I much prefer picking up RTSR rather than doing fucking no RTSR on Golem and ONS. Stray. All that bullshit. His ass. Ten pants? Holy shit. Thanks for the resub, dude. Wow, I actually saved time in that second. DGH in the turn. Sixteen thirteen with an eight thirty SGS is uh not bad, honestly. Like if I didn't miss that bow shot, this would have been sub sixteen. Excuse me. Yeah, Frag Draker's not a good idea for RTA. Any of the Mail Draker variants would not be good. Fall Control routes. Just, like, or just go into Lower Berg, you know? Like, it's so bad for RTA. Just makes it way harder for yourself. Lost the sub to yourself. Was not gonna make that. Yeah, that's all saying this. RTA, it sucks. I'm gonna make it a million times harder. A more difficult route. That's not even good for RTA. Should definitely do like a Malus variant or DT plus five or something. I, honestly, I wouldn't even be opposed to DT plus five because it's so brainless. I'd rather just do something super consistent and easy that I can make fast just by executing simple things the whole way. I don't know. I'll have to get Ma ES Malus a try. I might end up doing it, but right now I'm leaning towards Malus personally. 
Agree to do our races, SL1. Hmm. Duck, are you gonna be? Are you gonna do the all bosses race? Remaster in your percent? Or are you talking about Pre prepare to die? Because fuck no, I, I hate him prepared to die. <laughs> well, mostly Iron Gold. I, I can't stand any percent Iron Gold. It's like one of my least favorite things to do. I got okay at it, but I still don't like doing it. I'd have to go back and try it though before I make a decision on ES Mailus. Because even though me running any percent wasn't that long ago, I, I am a better player, you know. So. And after getting decent at it originally and then going back to it, it might not be quite as big of a deal, you know. Well, like I said, I have to see so. after going back. When I first did it, though, oh, my God, fuck that. <laughs> it's so annoying. ONS is not that bad. I need to take my shield off. Like, they're annoying, but I think Golem's more annoying. Stray too, but I've never done Stray without RTSR. Cause you know you don't fight Stray in any percent. He seems pretty fucking annoying. I mean, everybody's talking like it's gonna happen. I expect it'll probably happen around August or September. Hopefully. Really fun and really fucking bad. Hmm. I hope so, Vic. All right. Hey, fool. I guess I attacked a little too late for the uh, stagger on the jump. How am I alive? I was close to her, so the melee attack went over my head. No! Oh my god, dude. Well, that sucks. Oh, I... You know what? I could have fucking just quit out. And get warped back up and drop again. Damn it. Although that might not have worked. God damn it. That's because I didn't equip the BKH in the air because I got the fucking... I clipped the the ground. And so I went to go equip the BKH, did it too fast, and healed. This run is quickly going to shit. I haven't screwed that up like that in a while. It's okay.
just gonna get AFK Centipede. Oh my god. Dude, this is uh been special. <laughs> So, I mean, that, that didn't really lose me much time. The Fire Sage lost me a lot of time. And that, failing the plunge lost me time. So I'll probably be like even after this segment. It's my guess. Yeah, brand new run and I have 30 second time save on the next segment. Four balls. What do we say now, Zaz? All thingies? Okay. All boss? I need to practice doing the uh, slightly different way, just indexing the BKH for the uh, Four Kings setup. Wow, I didn't even lose that much time. I mean, I guess it's because my PB segment on there was not very good either. an IQ setup. Although I might die here because that was kind of slow. That was a really slow system. We're still... Yeah, also wait. <laughs> I'm 
Gendrake apparently tested it without the S doc, so we could just index the BKH. We said it was fine. You take like just a little bit less, like one HP less damage or something. I kind of want to test it myself first. Not like it'll save a whole lot of time, either way. I missed two hits. I mean, I got fucking, I got three kings in my PB, so. I should have just taken it a little slower. I kind of yellowed it for no reason a little bit. I'm not sure where he's going to be. I think maybe over here. Yeah, dude, like I came up with that fucking setup and then I just can't get two kings in a run ever. The issue right there is that he like twisted his body. And, like screwed me up. Nice. Lost even more time. Great. The three kings in my PB, I was like really close to the third king. So. We might still be able to get sub Capitain though. Top three would be cool. That's funny how like similar to this this run is to like the PB I just got. Yeah, I just I don't like fucking with that because I like to have extra time to uh, get a dupe off and everything. I don't want to do a strat that is betting on me getting three kings, you know what I mean? I'm just going to bet that I get two. But yeah. That is definitely something you can do if you have issues with getting two kings. Which apparently I fucking do. But I practiced them for like 30 minutes, an hour today. It was doing a lot better. I mean, like, it was just because I didn't wait for a good opening. Oh, that's actually... I should have just taken it slower. when you're like really really close to the edge on the ladder because sometimes you can end up slipping off when you're trying to nudge off like you'll slip off the lip below you which is pretty annoying
Yeah, wind slope could help Zaz. It's free. As Kata says. Um, it's really it's really hard, actually. <laughs> it's uh it just takes a lot of time to get used to it and to figure it out. But once you figure it out, it really isn't that bad. But it takes a lot of practice, I would say. It's not as bad as you might think, though. It's just something you really got to work on. And I still, like, practice it pretty frequently just so I don't get rusty on it. Yeah. It's really not that bad. <coughs> Gold. Yeah, it, it's definitely not easy. It just takes a lot of practice. And, like, you can get good to where you'll pretty much always land on the slope. But then it becomes... A matter of being able to tell when to quit out like landing on the slope is only half of it but timing the quit out is the other half and that's actually pretty t pretty tough because there's like there's a few different quit out timings there's one that's like kind of similar to a fall control quit out timing there's one where you have to wait really long and then there's one where you have to do it like fucking instantly or you die and you have to be able to tell what kind of quit out you have to do based on the, your jump and where you're landing. That's that's really the hardest part, in my opinion. Because, you know, obviously if you quit out too late, you die. But you can also quit out too early and then you have to redo it. Or you quit out just barely too early and then you get an infinite fall. And you die that way. It's it's tricky. I did not feel confident about that jump. <laughs> hey, Brodo. Thanks for the host. Oh, shit. I forgot to jump. Uh, I might have to use a skeleton. There's a jump that I do after the boost jump to take extra damage. So I get RTSR from this fucking archer every time. If you don't do it, sometimes you don't get RTSR. Yep. I just have to block a skeleton here. If I die, I really don't. Runs without. Oh, 
all three. That might be a gold. That's a really good segment. I've sub Kata some of best now. I almost went to fucking uh, reinforced by Halberd because thinking, oh, it's Nito's segment. Yeah, no AoE either. So, like that. I didn't even get a stored roll on Pinwheel. That was a pretty good segment. Now, if this fucking knight will be. Nice and not troll me. I've had two PBs in a row where he did not do the running attack. Thank you. God damn. Hey, Arnie. No grabs? Holy shit. I thought I quit out too early. Oh my god. Mmm! Yeah. Dude, am I one second behind fucking Nax? 